Hello everyone, I am Jani Basha. In this video, I will show you how to make a thumbnail. I will show you a live example of it. I will show you how to make the thumbnail with the ready-made templates that Canva have. So let's start our video. Open the Canva app. After opening Canva app, you can search here for YouTube thumbnail. You can type it. Or otherwise, you can see this YouTube thumbnail here, you can click on it or otherwise you can also click on create a design and search for YouTube thumbnail and we have this here and we can just click on it and the interface opens like this you can check whatever thumbnail you want to make like you want to make a thumbnail on gaming or blog or travel or music or anything or a podcast or food the thumbnail you have clicked on this video is the example that we are making now there are many options these are all free one and you, there are some paid one also you can click on any one you want I like this you can click on it and now you have to change the text and from here you can keep this image or you can just delete here or if you want to rewrite the text and before showing that if we want to increase the size here you have the option like you can just click the plus button to increase the size and minus to decrease or you can do manually from here to move very fast very easily or you can change the size from here or you can select the text from here and you can just delete it and write whatever you want and I will start from here how to make a thumbnail and if you want to add new text you can go to this text option heading or subheading for this one just click on it and you will get to the thumbnail and you can just change this size and this length from here and you can place on this option and select the text to remove it you can just click on delete and you can move this to up and write on canva so you can just move on to this black box and if you want to add an image you can just go to the elements and put this image box here and you can drag any one photo from here and other than that we can also do like going to the chrome opening I'm opening the chrome and searching for canva logo you can see whatever the logo you want like I like this and just copying it copy image copy oh this is also nice you can use this copy image copy image and go on to the canva and just you can paste it here and and this one is little good and we will go to the elements and search for a circle and here after dragging that image you can change the size or if you can put in a go to elements and put it into a circle here is a circle and this is a circle with a little frame and we are going to use it just drag the 
image into the circle let's keep it this side and yes the frame is in green color and we can change this from here by just clicking on the color and you can just click on whatever the color you like now i'm going to click on orange we change it or blue ah yes this is some little bit better and if you want to add your youtube logo into this video and you can just click on the youtube logo of our channel and just resize it to small it is like putting it in the top corner here and if you want to add text like like and subscribe on the thumbnail you can just go on to the text option and we have ready made like and subscribe button logo just you can just copy it and decrease the size as you like and keep it wherever you want and you can just copy this copy the text like and just recolor it with i want to use it orange that's it orange is changed or you can do it for everything here i think we have completed our basic thumbnail that takes hours to do in a normal editing platform as we have all this ready made templates we have done it very easily like if you want to do this coloring it takes lot of time and lot of efforts and to skip that we can use canva and make sure to you also check that and tell me how can we improve this thank you make sure to subscribe and follow us on our whatsapp channel which shares lowest deals of amazon and flipkart and make sure to subscribe our channel thank you and after completing our work and we can just click on this share button to download and here you can click on download download again and you can see it is being downloaded and it will be stored to your desktop